We're in the height of summer, apparently. So many of yeah. us have already taken our annual trip to the sun. But how do you take the taste of Espana home with you? Well, Lizzie Lyons from Lizzie's Little Kitchen in Listowel joins us with the solution. Good morning, Lizzie. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Can I just say a big hello to my mum and dad? They're watching in Spain at the moment. And my mum oh, just texted bless. me uh, to ask me to water her plants. A little bit busy. I'll do it later, though. <laughs> yeah, we, we'll sort that out. Don't worry. <laughs> you help me. Yeah, I'll, I'll call over. Around. Yeah, we'll do it. Um, <laughs> So patatas bravas. Our yes. favourite. Oh, we uh, do these on our tapas night um, in the soul and in Bally Bunyan. world's tapas nights. And we've put them on as a special now in the cafe in the soul because they were so popular. And they're a great one to have share at home and have a dinner party. We had friends over, so we did them the last night. Nice and simple to make. Very simple. Good. Why do you think yeah. tapas uh, are so popular among Irish people in particular? Is it because it's sort of they're social, sociable by nature that yeah. you're all sitting around picking? Of course, yeah. Everybody, I, I love to. I, I I hate to sit down with all my meat and veg on the plate. I always put everything in the middle. It's very sociable. Yeah. It's very enjoyable. You tend to eat less. Um, I find because you know you're taking your time and you're telling your brain that you're eating so I think yeah and it's a different experience for us so it's all about the experience so the first thing we're going to do we're going to get some cubed potatoes I use roosters there and we're putting them into a pot of boiling water and we're just going to let them simmer until they become al dente so a little bite it you don't want to overcook them because you want to hold the potato together okay, okay. all right so we're just going to let them simmer <clears throat> away you don't want this to turn into mush no exactly um, so 10 out of 10. So that's the first thing we're going to okay. do. The second thing we're going to do is, these are ones that I have prepared earlier. Good one. And you'll see that they're not... Fully cooked. They're not yeah, fully yeah. cooked, even when I'm pressing them hard now. So we've got our deep fat fryer on here at 180, and we're going to drop them in here. And if you don't have a deep fat fryer... Uh, if you, you didn't have a deep fat fryer... Um, well, when I do these at home, I take the healthy option. So what I would do is I would give them a whirl of a little bit of olive oil or rapeseed oil, and then I'd bang them into the oven at 180 okay. until they crisp up. So Gorgeous. that's another it's alternative nice option, for you. Yeah, nice alternative. Um, so we're going to drop them in there, all right? And how the are next... they going to cook for a couple of minutes? Yeah. Uh, probably about four four minutes, okay. hopefully. Good. Because that's all we have. Could be four and a half <laughs> minutes left, yeah. Um, so what I have here is a little bit of paprika. And we have a little bit of mixed herbs, dried. When people order tapas, they'll always order patatas aioli, always. which is the garlic one. So bravas, give us an idea of what the sauce is involved. Um, so I'm going to do a little sauce here for you. So we're going to do a seasoning. This is my okay. take on it. It's, everybody has their own interpretation yeah. of it, and this is mine. So... Uh, Basically, that's it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've a little bit of cayenne and smoked paprika in here as well, and some chilli. We're going to mix all that around, and that's going to be for our potatoes when they come out. And then we're going to do our sriracha. So inside here, I have some mayonnaise. We have some piri piri seasoning. I'm going to put in another little bit. Okay. We have some lovely lemon juice. Now, you know Simon well at this stage, and he's not a fan of hot food, but this has, will have a little bite to it, but it won't be yeah. too hot, will it? No, oh. it's going and to be lovely. Love the sriracha, don't you, Laura? Oh, I do. Keep pouring, Lizzie. You brought oh. this in for me, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. just text love you. It. So, we're going to mix that all up. See the lovely colour? Gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, once you have all of these ingredients, obviously, in your cupboard, you don't need to go out and buy yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. And we have a lot of that stuff inside anyway, so that's okay. that ready for us. They'll be on the website as well. Now, the next thing we're going to do is some chorizo. I've just a little few slices there. I didn't realise you put eggs on top of the bravas. Did you not? No. No, oh, you yeah. don't. Traditionally, you don't. Oh, she puts an egg on everything. But on her breakfast, does it? I, I'm not traditional. So no. this, this is, is your little Lizzie twist. This is the Listowel <laughs> bravas, yeah. We're celebrating in Listowel. Okay. We got a green flag for our lovely park. It's an international flag. The of only course. one in Kerry. Really? So they're all below celebrating great achievement for the town, our lovely little town, so we're delighted with it. So they'll be all bravas in tonight. <laughs> <laughs> right. Probably so our potatoes, potatoes are on, right? Yeah. So that we're going to let them brown. And I've popped an egg in here now too. Um, just a little trick for you to keep your eggs healthy. I have a little bit of oil, a tiny bit, on the bottom of the pan. Usually in the restaurant I would never use oil when I'm frying an egg. I'd put some in the bottom of the pan and then I would put a little bit of oil on and put a cover over it and you're basically steaming your egg to cook then. Oh. So you're not using any oil. It's equal to kind of a poached egg. So we have our potatoes in here. They're done. Oh, yeah, they're crisping up there. They're lovely. Yeah, lovely, lovely, jubbly. If you were to go down the oven route, how long would you put them in? 20 minutes? Probably or? 20 minutes, yeah. Okay. 
so they're lovely here. I have a little bit of greaseproof pa or kitchen paper underneath. Take the excess off. Yeah, exactly. We give them a roll around. Then we have our seasoning. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking. Do you find this very popular when you have your tapas nights? Yeah, it's really, really popular. And it was so popular we put it on as a special during the day. We have some smoked cheese here. We're going to bang that on there. Had a little taste of that cheese earlier. It's delicious. Just beautiful. You've got some lovely like chorizo on ah, there. No, they don't be well. They don't, <laughs> be, well, well. They don't, they don't be well, Laura. <laughs> no. The chorizo in. Chorizo in there. I'm going to put them into the oven just to melt down the cheese. These are ones that I have prepared earlier. Oh, yeah. so they're beautiful little dishes that yeah. you have, Lizzie. Don't touch them, they're very hot. Scorchio. I wasn't going to steal them on you. <laughs> <laughs> so she'll wait she cools them and then she'll put them in her bag. <laughs> Laura, there's something in your bag, I think. <laughs> there, Lizzie, this is Laura. Um, so now we have our fried egg ready to go here. We're banging that on top. <laughs> our lovely <laughs> This is a meal in itself. Yeah, it is. A lovely little bit of sriracha. Oh, gorgeous. Love the colours. Parsley. Onion. Yes. Got a little bit of spring onion. That's clever yeah. because um, a lot of the Spanish food is very yellow. You can yeah. have a whole table full of yellow. So there you go, stuff. guys. Look at that. Right. Don't touch it because... What we're is it? Now, oh, thank you, you so go. much. That's delicious. Oh, All of the details will be up on the website. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah yeah, just don't. a little. <laughs> 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 I can't eat that oh, thing now. Oh, such a pity. I'll have to have it myself. Thanks so much, Lizzie. We'll be back later on yeah. uh, with more fabulous food. Stay with us uh, after the break. Advice on dealing with video game addiction. Stay with us.